Hey, hey, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Can you believe that it is the last week, full week of the year 2018? <laughs> I can barely, barely believe it. This is the last video that I'll be posting this year and it is actually the eighth video since this channel began. And I am so, so proud of myself for posting these videos consistently whether the viewership is high or low i'm just so proud of myself because the point of this channel is to be intentional <laughs> is to live purposeful lives and at the heart of intentionality is consistency and even if this is not for anybody else for me it is important but i'd like to acknowledge and thank each and every one of the 64 of you that were early adopters and that jumped onto the ship when it began sailing when it began moving thank you so so much i do not take your subscription for granted i do not take your viewership for granted you mean a lot to me and that is why i sit down every week i whip up my camera and i record for you so that we can all grow so thank you so so much yes as the title of this video suggests i'm going to be talking to people who aren't really excited for the new year who have seen a lot of things fall apart and break in this year and just don't have prospects or a hope for a happy um, 2019 to look forward to. Can I just tell you that I've been there? I've been right there. And I'd like to share with you a word that stuck with me, a word that I believe God intentionally led my eyes to see because I was having it rough. I remember it was the 1st of January, 2017. My mom woke me up and was like, hey, there are fireworks going on outside. Don't you want us to go and celebrate um, the new year with everyone? And I didn't even want to open my eyes. I just said to her, no, I don't want to. And she left me alone because she understood. The year 2016 had been rough. For me it yeah it was rough and for three main reasons firstly <laughs> this is the year where I saw a relationship that I treasured so much that I valued so much break it crumbled right in front of my eyes I never thought I would break up with the individual that I was in a relationship with I had never thought it would happen. I don't know why, um, but I really, really believed that it would, it would last forever. And just before I wrote my exams in September, my final exams in September, I got into a very hurtful breakup. It messed me up. The, the latter of 2016 was so heart-wrenching for me it was difficult i saw my physique drop i'm already slender i got ill i got really really ill on top of that um i had not had enough vacation work to graduate in time <laughs> oh my gosh and this is not a this is not an um an exception or something that doesn't normally happen it happens but I didn't hope that would happen for me. Everyone else was graduating in December and a couple of my friends and other classmates of mine were not going to graduate in the year, at the end of the year, because we did not have enough back work. I was just like, wow, wow. And to make matters worse, that year we were applying for jobs because it was our final year at university. We were all applying for jobs. Um, while well, those are the people that weren't already contracted in bursary form with the company that was sponsoring them. So we were all applying, seeking work. Can I just tell you that I had never been rejected so much in one year than I did in that year. Sure, when I was registering, applying for, sorry, when I was applying for bursaries, um, in 2012 to go into university there were some rejections but 2016 was horrible and my marks were good my marks were good I had no idea why they, the, the interviews were not working out actually some companies didn't even grant me the interviews they were just imagine every time 
you open your emails, you read, we regret, and you already know what it's about. I never experienced rejection like that. So 2016 was ending and I had broken up with the man of my dreams. I was not going to graduate in time and I had no job for the next year. <laughs> no job for the next year. And so my mom woke me up, I was just like, no. I can't do it. Like, what am I celebrating? What am I looking forward to? There's nothing for me to be festive about. There's nothing for me to cheer to cheer about. And I, I went on to sleep. But people need to wake up, right? When it was morning, I got woken up by God's divine grace. And I just grabbed my phone. Like, I didn't even have the strength to pray or anything like that. I just grabbed my phone and went on Instagram. And the very first thing that I saw when I went on to Instagram was a graphic with a verse inside. And here's the beautiful thing about this, this particular verse, that when I was in back work at the end of 2016, I saw a guy wearing a shirt that had the verse inscribed on the back of his shirt. So I would like to share this with you because it really picked me up. It gave me so much hope and from that point on, I believed. This verse is found in Isaiah chapter 43. I will read verse 18 and 19 and I believe God personally gave me this message and because it gave me so much hope, I would like to extend it to you. It says, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Verse 19, behold, I will do a new thing. <laughs> now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. When I read this, I cried. I cried. And I just put my phone down and I began to thank God. I began to thank God because in that moment he was encouraging me to not consider the things of old, things that have broken my heart, things that have not worked out, things that seem like hopelessness. He said, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. These are things not seen. These are things not heard of. And God is saying exactly, I am going to do for you things you have not seen and things you have not heard of. He said, I am doing a new thing. Do you not see it? And at that point, I wasn't seeing it. But that's exactly what God was saying. See, you don't see it, but I do. So be of good courage. And right now, I would like to encourage each and every one of you who is not necessarily looking forward to the new year, who's not looking forward to 2019, and even if you are, can I just let you know that God is going to exceed your wildest imaginations. And even if you don't have those imaginations, He is doing a new thing. Do you not perceive it? Please do. Perceive that God is doing a new thing because he is. Where there is a wilderness, he will make a way. Where it's dry and hopeless and a desert in your situation in your life, he will make rivers. You will not thirst. You will be nourished. You will be refreshed. When the devil comes with his heat, you will be cooled down by the rivers that God will provide in your desert. So be of good courage it lifted me up this verse and can i just tell you in the year 2017 and even to this year that is passing now 2018 i've seen rivers in my deserts i've seen ways in my wilderness i've seen god do such incredible things because i took him at his word take me at this word and take god at his word he is doing a new thing Forget the things of old. And when you do remember them, may they come up to you as memories to say, this was once me, but look at where I am now. This was once my situation, but look where I am now. So guys, I really, really, really encourage you to be hopeful, to be watchful, because God is going. He's already doing a new thing. He will make ways for you. He will do amazing things for you. Just give him the chance. And that's my message for today. And from me to everyone who is going to watch this video, happy 
happy new year i wish nothing but prosperity on your end i wish that we can all next year learn to make wise intentional decisions i am committed to leading and helping each and every one of you to discover your purpose to thrive in it to live a meaningful life i've got so much in store for you for this channel for what I am going to introduce to you as the year goes by. I'm really, really excited for next year. I'm excited to serve you. I'm excited for what's going to happen in my life, in your life, and in the lives of the people who we are going to make an impact in. So I hope that the rest of the year ends well for you. And if you're watching this in the new year, welcome to the new year, as if I've brought it to you. <laughs> um yes guys i love you all continue to subscribe if you haven't 